Hi there, welcome back to the Matplotlib series of tutorials. Today I'm going to be talking about something really interesting. PLT I am show. So the function of I am show, which I believe is the short for image show. I am show is a function that can be very helpful if you're doing some image processing. Think of Photoshop, think of any image processing software that you can change colored images to black and white. You can make it smoother. You can make it, you can change the contrast. You can change the highlights. You can change the shadows. You can visualize all the changes you make on an image using the I am show. What I have here on this screen is an example of using the I am show function in Python to show this smoky image, which looks really cool. You can change the colors, you can change the resolution. I guess you can see that this top is pixelated. It's not really high resolution, but down here you've got a bit high, higher resolution. Let's get into this. Let's make a new Jupyter notebook. Give it a proper name of matplotlib underscore number 12. And this one is for I am show from matplotlib import pyplot as plt import numpy. We will use numpy for a couple of functions. Like always that I have done this before, um, fix size of seven and seven and then plt.imshow and I don't really need plt.show anymore. I'm not gonna run this because I'm gonna get an error because I don't have any data. Let's go ahead and make some dummy data. I'm gonna call the dummy data my array. Just remember this, to use I am show function, you either need array like data. So it has to be a numpy array or it has to be a PIL object, which is an image object. We're going to talk about it later, but for now, just remember that we need to have an array of data before making my array. Let's go ahead and make a list. So my list equals my list equals one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And I want to make a list of lists. So let's make a bigger list, go ahead, comma, and make another list and close the bigger list. And this one, I'm going to make it the opposite zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. I want to convert this list into a numpy array. What I will do, I'll say numpy array of my list. So there, I made a list of one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. And then I converted it into an array because I know I am show only accepts arrays. Let's look at my array. It's a two dimensional array. And this is row one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. And this is row two, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. I will just go ahead and try to visualize my array using PLT I am show. Let's have a look. This is what it looks like. So very quickly, I can understand that yellow represents one and purple represents zero. That's why I have yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple in a second row, purple, yellow, purple, purple, yellow, and so forth. So I can easily visualize this as an image. Think of this as pixels as you know, very large pixels that I am viewing using I am show. Can I change the colors? Of course, you just need to change the CMAP variable. So I can easily say change the CMAP to gray. Well, it's going to be black and white because there is not any gray value here. It's just one or zero. There is no gray value. But if I change this to 0 0.5, just one of them, I want to show you that you can actually make a gray color if you change that value to between 0 and 1, not absolute 0 or absolute 1. This is the very simple use case of I am show. Now, let's go ahead and make a bigger chessboard. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to say my array equals a numpy array of one and zeros four times. So if you want to visualize what this produces, it produces one and zeros four times. So one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and one, zero, and then zero and one, four times. So let's look at that. It's just going to be zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, and the whole thing four times. So if we visualize the whole thing, you will see that I have a bigger array of one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, and it just alternates between one, zero and zero, one. So if I visualize that now, let's run this, let's run that, and let's run that, you can see that this is an actual chessboard 
in gray. If I went where it is, I'll see what the default is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the top one that I just made a dummy uh, list and then I convert it into a NumPy array. Before I go on, if you wanna follow along with me, feel free to go to the link down in the description below, download the code and the data and follow along with me. Otherwise, let's just go ahead. What I really wanna do, I wanna make it look a bit more sophisticated. I'm gonna make a size variable and call it four. And instead of writing four here, I'll just replace size, size, and size. What I'm trying to do, I'm making reproduction of this code easier. So it's not gonna change anything, but if I change the size to, let's say 20, I wanna get a bigger image. Now you can see that there are um, 40 on the X axis, 40 on the Y axis, and now this is a more pixelated image, if that makes sense. Let's make it 50. I wanna show you what pixels of an image really mean in terms of an IM show. This is just 010101, it's not gonna be really an image, but I just wanna show you what pixelating the image really means here. And if I go really sophisticated, make it 100, you will see that that texture of pixelated texture kinda of disappears and I can see a more of a smoother image now. And if I make it 500, you can see that I can't see any pixels. That looks like a solid paper of green. If I change the default CMAP from Veritas to gray again, you will see that I can see a gray image. However, there are many, many, many pixels in that image that I cannot visualize because I'm using a very, very pixelated image, if that makes sense. So this is not the only use case of I am show. Well, this is a very simplistic use case of I am show. There are way bigger use cases for I am show. The next use case I'm going to show you is reading an image and showing an image. So you have an image, for example, image of your face. You want to change it from color to black and white. Let's do that using I am show. That's very, very simple. You don't need to use Photoshop. You don't need to use anything. Just use I am show. I'll show you how now. What I have done now here, I have imported this image of my face. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use matplotlib to read it into Python and then convert it from color to black and white. Let's do that. So to read that image, I need to say plt I am read. This is the command used to read an image. Let me change the name of my image, my face, because that's a really long name. And I want you to read my face.png. Okay, you can see that. I'm not really storing it into anything. So if I say PLT, I am read, that says, okay, I read it and these are the pixel numbers. I gotta say, okay, save it into my face variable. Now it is saved into my face. If I go ahead and say PLT, I am show of my face, you can easily see that I am using Python to visualize my image. It can be image of anything. Am I happy with the size? Not really. Let's change the size to my liking. I'm gonna say figure, of fig size, fig size equals seven and seven. Okay, that's that's better now. It's not gonna be square because this image in its origin is not a square one. So the y-axis will be seven, but the x-axis will be shorter because the original image is shorter. Okay, as I told you, this image has a longer y-axis, a longer height, as opposed to the width. Can I get it to stretch over the x-axis? Of course you can. So you gotta use the aspect parameter. By default, the aspect parameter is equal, so it's not gonna really change it. But if you set it to auto, it's gonna stretch the image in the x-axis. Do I really want to stretch this image? Well, I'm not really sure. I don't like my face pancaked over the screen, so I'm just gonna set it back to equal. So I'm here on the matplotlib I am show official webpage, and I can see which parameters I can play with. So I have the X, which is my face, the image. CMAP, can I use a different CMAP? So can I just say, I want you to use the CMAP of gray? No, you can't, because this is an RGB image, and CMAP does not apply onto an RGB image. So if you look at the web page, you will see that this parameter is ignored for RGB data. That's why it's not gonna change my picture to a grayscale. Normalize, by default, the IMShow function normalizes the image from zero to one. So the lowest amount to zero and the highest amount to one. So I don't really need to do anything and it is ignored for RGB data. I did talk about aspect, so it can stretch in both dimensions if you want. Um, 
you can use the interpolation um, you can use different ways of interpolation you can use none empty alias nearest neighbor bilinear all those different functions you can set the alpha if you have seen my previous videos you will know that we use alpha a lot and that adds transparency to your image or to your graph whatever you're doing so now this image is only visible 30 percent of the of the original image let's set it to 0.9 because i don't want to lose I look really pale here. Um, you can set the V min and V max if you want to. They define the data range that the color map vectors show. I'm not gonna talk about that. The origin is an interesting one. It is, the default is the upper corner, but let's play with it. Let's say origin equals upper. This is not gonna change anything because by default it was upper. But if I say lower, what it does, it starts plotting the data from the bottom up. That's why my face is you know, upside down now. Sometimes you might have to do that. If you have to, go ahead and use the origin. So you have the upper and the lower. I'm not gonna talk about rest of them, but the most important one, I guess, is the resample. And default is that resampling is set to true. So let's set this to upper so that I don't get vomiting feeling. And let's say resample is true. It's not gonna do anything because the default is true. And if I set it to false, you will see that you can't really visually see any difference. It can come in handy in some other situation, but that's not my point here. Just keep in mind that this is a very beginner's tutorial on I am show. I'm gonna make a more sophisticated tutorial on I am show later. But for now, let me just show you the last trick with playing with my image. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move all the aesthetics down one line. And you remember how I told you we can convert my image into a black and white, and I wasn't able to do that by setting the CMAP to gray. So because I was not able to do that, I'm just gonna delete it for now and run this again. It's gonna be the same thing. I'm just gonna get rid of the alpha as well because I want this, the original strength of the image. I'm gonna put a semicolon at the end of this so that I will not see this writing here. That looks a bit neater, okay? If you wanna convert your image to a black and white, there is a very, very simple trick without going into advanced functionalities that I'm gonna show you later in, in a separate video. What you need to do is just to look at your image shape. You can see that my image, the image of my face, is 583 by 465 by four. So there are four different layers of image stacked on top of each other. That's why we call these images RGBA. So R for red, G for green, B for blue, and A for alpha. So this is an RGBA image. So if I wanted to just look at the red component, I can easily say, let me say, I want all the rows which is 583 of them. I want all the columns, the 465 of them, and I just want the red channel, which is number zero. If I run this, this is the red channel of this image, okay? Let's look at the green channel, which is the second one. In Python, we start counting at zero, so one is the second channel. This is the green channel of my image, and this is the blue channel of my image, and this is the alpha, so it's full in alpha. What I will do, I will go to the red channel again, and if now I just set the CMAP to gray, you will see that I am able to convert my image into a black and white image. So now with this one, I can easily say, okay, I'm happy with this, just cut this image, and I will have a black and white image of my face. You can easily use matplotlib to save the figure. I was just lazy, I just wanted to do a screen grab. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please don't be shy and click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Thank you.